Good evening, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining us on ESPN Radio, the Jock 96.9, 99.9, and 1060 AM. Also, a happy hello to everybody tuning in on MILB TV online and streaming the game online. A variety of different ways you can catch Cardinal baseball every single day. We appreciate you making us a part of your Saturday, wherever and however you are tuning in. Andre Palante, the Cardinal righty, a couple of final tune up tosses out there for the San Clemente, California native who has been outstanding every fifth day so far this year. This is start number eight for Palante. He is two and one, a 2.51 ERA, 32 and one third innings, 34 hits, 12 runs, only nine earned. No more than two runs in any start, only two qualifying pitchers can claim that the other by the way will be on the mound for Arkansas tomorrow and Tyler Herb who is a veteran of this level Palante in his first year and those two have separated themselves really as the two most consistent starters in terms of runs allowed each and every time 18 walks 31 K's for Palante this year Matt Andre will be navigating against this Arkansas lineup that begins with Josh Morgan, Bobby Honeyman, and Jake Shiner. Beautiful night for baseball. The wind is blowing across from left to right tonight. We're going to be starting off in the upper 80s. And not a cloud in the sky today. After there were quite a few clouds in the sky before last night's game, we were delayed for an hour as those thunderstorms came through, but Able to get the ball game in, and the Cardinals looking to bounce back after that 7-5 to five defeat an evening ago. First one today gets us going with a fastball missing inside. Ball one to Josh Morgan. 6.08 p.m. It is 88 degrees. Sunny skies in downtown Springfield. That wind is 10 miles per hour. Here's a bouncer to third. Gloved by Gorman. Drops it. Fires wide at first base now. And it skips up against the sidewall, staying in play. So that will likely be a, an error, and it will indeed on Nolan Gorman, the sure-handed third baseman for the Cardinals, got to that bouncer, but it looked like on the transfer after stopping it, it squirted out of his control. Then he had to try to rush from there and threw the ball wide. Only one error on the play, however. As the ball stayed in play, so Morgan didn't get past first base. So a base runner to get things going here. Bobby Honeyman, the left-handed batter, hitting 301. Takes a fastball high from Palante for ball one. Andre Palante, the Cardinal starter. He is six feet even, 205 pounds, San Clemente, California native. Played his college ball at UC Irvine. From where he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2019 by the St. Louis Cardinals. This pitch is lasered across the outside edge right at the knees. Perfect fastball evens the count at one and one for the left handed Honeyman. Honeyman with that 301 average. 11 RBIs does not have a home run so far. This is his 26th game of the year. They load up on the right side against him as the 1 1. Misses down and away for ball number two. Well, this Cardinal infield from left to right, right now it's a little tough to tell you about because Nolan Gorman, the third baseman, is basically playing second base in the overshift. But Gorman is the third baseman. Delvin Perez, he's the man at short, the only man on the left side of the infield right now. 2-1 is up and in for ball three. The second baseman is Nick Dunn. Luke and Baker holds on Morgan at first. Cardinal catcher back there is Nick Raposo. Palante trails the count. Three balls, one strike. From the stretch, the righty fires, and it's fouled right back into the foot of the home plate umpire, Hardlin Acosta. So a full count for the batter, Honeyman. Outfielders for the Cardinals. In left, it is Brendan Donovan. 
Center fielder David Vinsky with Alec Burleson patrolling right field. Both Nick Plummer and Yvonne Herrera getting the evening off tonight. Two of the Cardinals regulars. Honeyman waving the bat back and forth, perched above the helmet. And a breaking pitch is taken high for ball four. So the first two travelers reach on an error and a walk. Palante will turn his focus to Jake Shiner as he gets ready to go up against really the two primary power threats in this Arkansas lineup. And Shiner digging in on the right side currently. And then Brian O'Keefe, who we know quite well, former Cardinal who has been just swinging away in this series so far. But first it's Shiner, DHing, batting 278, a team best seven home runs. I should say second on the team. O'Keefe has gone catapulting past him this week. 19 RBIs for Shiner. Big swing and a miss and a good slider from Palante for strike one. Palante with a four pitch mix out there, a fastball, a slider, a curve, and a change. Uses the, the last one the least. A lot of fastball, slider, curveball mixes. Here's another breaking ball, and it's ripped at and missed by Shiner for strike two. Now the sun in full effect here at Hammonds Field. The only part of the ballpark that's getting some shade right now is the very far third base side. Shadows are just about to the third base foul line, so the entirety of fair territory bathed in sunlight at day's beginning here. The 0-2 is put on the ground to short. Perez underhands to second for one, on to first for two. 6-4-3, they turn the double play. Down to third does go Morgan. He is the only traveler left out there. Exactly what Palante was looking for. As he is now one out away from getting out of this inning unscathed. The batter is Brian O'Keefe, so it's not going to be easy. 2019 Springfield Cardinal is currently batting 343 for Arkansas, eight home runs, 26 RBIs. First pitch to him, a fastball, gets a strike called right at the letters. Cardinals out there in the home whites on this Saturday. Springfield, the birds on the bat on the chest. Wearing the Saturday caps. Red ball caps with blue bills. The white S logo on the front. 0-1 delivery. Check swing and a fastball that was barely inside. They checked down to first, though, and say O'Keefe offered. So they count nothing in two. That looked like a pretty good pitch as well. First base umpire Jake Bruner saying that O'Keefe went around. Palante has got him down 0-2. O'Keefe this series 7 for 16, three home runs. The 0-2. A high fastball from Andre. One ball, two strikes. Runner at third base, Josh Morgan. He led off the ball game, reaching on a fielding error. Palante lost Honeyman to a walk, but erased him on the double play ball off the bat of Shiner. One on, two down, top of the first. And the one, two. Is scorched, foul down the right side of the ballpark. Knocks off the Ryan Lawn and Tree tarp cover. Sets it's back up for another one, two pitch. O'Keefe singled in four times at bat yesterday. Did come in to score a run in the ball game. One, two. Fastball a little bit high for ball number two. That's a good pitch by Palante. He placed that fastball up and in. It was going to be tough for O'Keefe to catch up to had he offered. But the veteran Brian O'Keefe with some good discipline not going after that high heater. That'll force a 2-2 pitch. Palante deals, and it's down and in this time. Again, just barely missing that innermost edge. A 
O'Keefe starts the day third in the double A Central batting 343. His eight home runs are tied for fifth. Payoff pitch is a bouncer softly to third waiting back Gorman plays it on the high bounce throws perfectly to first they get O'Keefe five to three and Palante works out of it with no damage done leaving a traveler at third base no score out of the gates tonight Cardinals swing it away when we come back on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinal Radio Network no score right out of the gates at Hammonds Field on this Saturday evening. Andre Palante able to work around an error and a walk. Got a double play ball. And a bouncer off the dangerous bat of Brian O'Keefe, handled well by Gorman at third. So one man left on for Arkansas. We stay tied at zero. And here come the Cardinals for the first time against the righty out there, Devin Sweet. Number 19 on his back. Sweet stands in, 5'11, 185. He is 24 years old out of Greensboro, North Carolina. That is my mom's hometown. Sweet played his college ball at North Carolina Central in Durham. And he starts his performance off tonight with a strike right on that inside edge. Nothing at one for right-handed swinging Delvin Perez. Delvin out of Louisa, Puerto Rico, 22 years old. Takes one down beneath the kneecaps. One ball, one strike for the Cardinal leadoff man. Batting 226. He's got a home run. Four runs batted in. Four out of 16 against Arkansas in this series. The pitch up and inside for ball two. Delvin did work a walk to begin the ball game, or rather the bottom of the first, yesterday. And then Nolan Gorman pummeled one to right field. Cardinals had a quick two-run lead. Perez pops this one to first base right to the foul side of the line. Room, however, over there for McGovern. And he pulls it away for the first out here in the bottom of the first inning. So a foul out retires Delbert Perez. And the Cardinals' number two prospect, Nolan Gorman, will come up for the first time tonight. Trabs have shuffled their defensive alignment all around. Bobby Honeyman is at third base. First time we've seen him over at the hot corner in this series. As the pitch to Gorman down and outside. Ball one. Shortstop David Masters. Kopak had been playing there. Josh Morgan is at second base for the first time in the series. Here is a laser by Gorman out of play to the left side. A foul ball. It's one and one. Keegan McGovern, his first ball game at first base. And Brian O'Keefe is back there catching again. Kopak in left for the first time. Steven Wren in center. David Schaefer in right. 1-1 is ripped foul by Gorman. Look out in the suites. One ball, two strikes. Nolan is swinging away, and why not? He has been absolutely on fire. Two home runs yesterday. He's batting 315, seven homers. Foul ball into the backstop this time. Up to 19 RBIs in this series alone. Going back to Tuesday of last week, Gorman, six out of 17 with four home runs and eight RBIs. The one-two. A check swing foul tip that then O'Keefe couldn't hang on to. It'll stay one ball and two strikes for Nolan. 21 years old out of Phoenix, Arizona. Gorman. The top power hitting prospect in the Cardinals system considered by Baseball America. And he has certainly shown that. The one two is swung on sky to right field going back Schaefer he turns around Gorman does it again. Another first inning homer this time it's a solo shot. And it's one to nothing on the Gorman blast. Number eight for Gorman, RBI number 20. He got out in front of that pitch. It looked like he kind of slowed his swing down. And still enough power behind it to drive it into Homer's landing out there. No 
Nolan Gorman up to eight home runs, five in the series. If you're not looking at the double A Central Player of the Week, I'd be terrified to know who's had a better week than Gorman. This is strike two very quickly to Brendan Donovan. Left handed batting left fielder Donovan hitting 308. Just his fifth game of double A ball. Joined the Cardinals on Tuesday. And watches this one bounce down in front of home plate. Donovan since making his double A debut as Brian O'Keefe got caught by that one. So the home plate umpire Hardlin Acosta will give him a couple minutes. But Donovan has just been a catalyst in this lineup since coming up from high A Peoria to start this series. Four out of 13. Four runs. He has stolen four bases. And he's worked a couple of walks. O'Keefe is still in a significant amount of pain. The trainer Amanda Lee on the top step looking closely. Brian is not one to exaggerate discomfort, so that one really must have smarted. But he's back behind the plate, back in the crouch. And he takes a pitch outside from Devin Sweet. Two and two for the batter, Donovan. Donovan's out of Madison, Alabama. Played his college ball at South Alabama. 2-2. Two -two. Down and away, ball number three. In addition to the terror that he can cause on the bases. He gets himself on base really in a variety of ways. Through his pro career has had great patience as the 3-2 is fought foul back out of play. Donovan ranked among Midwest League leaders in 2019 in a whole slew of categories. This is cranked to deep right field by Donovan, flying back for it, but not getting there is Schaefer. Donovan passed first, thinking two, and he slides in before the throw. A double for Brendan Donovan. And the Cardinals get a man right back on after the Gorman homer. First double A double for Donovan on a ball hit to right center. Mentioned the all of the travelers that are playing positions that perhaps they're not fully accustomed to tonight. David Schaefer technically a catcher out there in right field. Luke and Baker is ready for the first. Swings through a slider from Sweet at strike one. And Donovan hit that ball hard. I do wonder if that perhaps is a more experienced right fielder, if that ball might have been playable. Or catchable, I should say. The 0 1, Donovan hopping all around, but nobody back there to cover as Sweet spun around. Brendan might have been about to take off. I think he lost his footing momentarily. But fortunately for the Cardinals, Josh Morgan, who is covering, was off the bag still. 0 1, rip back up the middle. Morgan cuts it off with a sliding stop. He'll throw it at third. Donovan dives into the base, but he's tagged out at third base. A bang bang play Donovan moving up on that grounder up the middle. It is a fielder's choice four to five. That was a superb play by Josh Morgan. First of all just to stop it Baker hit the ball well right back up the middle. Morgan went into a sliding stop behind second base. And then without thinking twice about it fired the ball to third just getting the speedy Donovan. So they get the lead runner. Baker is safe at first base. Two down, and the batter is Alec Burleson. Sweet with the first to Burleson. Down and outside, ball one. Alec hit a home run in the ninth inning yesterday, his fifth in double-A ball, 15th RBI, hitting 280. 1-0. Off speed, but on that outside edge. Good pitch by Sweet for strike one. And this lineup just is unrelenting. Burleson right in the middle of it. Open stance left side, the 1-1. Put on the ground, sharply to the right side. It sneaks through. Base hit for Burleson. Baker goes racing to third base on the play. 
Great base running for Lucan. And there are Cardinals at the corners with two away. Burleson snuck it through that 3-4 hole past the diving first baseman McGovern. Morgan couldn't get there from second. Had a good read by Luke and Baker. Going to first to third on that play without thinking twice. Cardinals ahead one to nothing on Gorman's fifth home run of the series. Looking for more now with Baker just 90 feet away. David Vinsky the batter. The pitch. In there for a strike a good fastball. Vinsky's hitting in the sixth spot. He's batting 239, three home runs, 14 runs batted in. Batting 280 in the month of June. He has hit safely in five of the eight games he's played this month. 0-1. Swing and a fly ball. This one carrying out to right field. Backing up on it is Schaefer towards the warning track. He's got room and he reels it in. So the Trabs able to avoid major trouble in the first inning. Cardinals get a lot of traffic out there. The only man to come in, though, was Nolan Gorman with another home run, his eighth of the season. One to nothing Springfield through one on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Cardinals strike first tonight with a solo home run by Nolan Gorman. Second straight ball game in which he has hit a first inning home run. First pitch of the second here is fouled back by Keegan McGovern for strike one. Gorman's got five home runs in the series. He homered on Tuesday, homered on Wednesday. Nobody could touch Ian McKinney on Thursday. And then Nolan hit two more out of the park yesterday. Breaking pitch by Palante, twisting itself down and into the left-handed McGovern. So the count evens at one and one for Keegan McGovern hitting 167, four homers and seven runs batted in. Cardinals load up on the right side, three men over there. One and one. Down a little bit low with a breaking ball by Palante missing the mark. Two balls and a strike for McGovern. Straight away in the outfield for the Cardinals. Palante peers in over the top of the mitt. 2-1. Is a bouncer softly to the right side. Dunn charges from second. He picks it and whips it to first base. Good play by Nick Dunn on a soft bouncer by McGovern. Those can be tricky sometimes. McGovern can move a bit as well. 4-3, however, the put out. With one down, nobody on. The batter is Steven Wren. Now the Cardinals received an outstanding start last night. Really, both teams did. Tyler Pike on the mound for the Cardinals. As the first one to Wren bends itself in there. That sharp slider by Palante for a strike. It was Pike's second start as a Cardinal. He had signed and debuted last week. It was actually a week ago today against San Antonio. This pitch skips down and in, one at one. And that was just one of those days. Ten runs, ten hits, three and a third innings for Pike in his Cardinal debut. But the veteran left-hander bounced back with a superb one yesterday. Four perfect innings to start. Made even more impressive by the fact that the second and third were interrupted with an hour-long rain delay. Fastball outside, two and one the count for Wren. But both Pike and the Arkansas right-hander Penn Murphy were able to stay ready through that delay and come back out after it. Fastball is in for a strike here. Palante evens the count two and two and both pitchers yesterday not only came back out but they came back out really well. Picked up right where they had left off prior to that hiatus. As Palante fires the 2-2. Swing and a liner hit sharply to second. Dunn gloves it at the belt buckle, throws to first. And it's another infield assist for Nick Dunn in this inning. Two up, two down with Connor Kopak coming to bat. Pike kept the Trabs off the board until the fifth inning yesterday. They opened up that frame with three straight singles, which eliminated the perfect game bid and also got them on the board. Ended up with a no decision in the ballgame. 
but five one run innings for Tyler Pike yesterday. Fastball on the inside corner strike one for the right handed batting Kopak. Had been patrolling short throughout the series. He's out in left field today. It's like the Chavs drew their positions out of a hat. All of them playing a different spot here today. Fastball is whipped in by Paulante in attack mode out there. Nothing in two, and Kopak's going to take a little walk around the batter's box. Palante ready and waiting for him. Andre kicks and deals. A curve, and it's knocked foul out of play to the right side, left side. Kopak is 3 out of 12 in the series, does have his lone double-A home run in this set. He's batting 108 on the year with the one home run, two RBIs. Nothing in two. Outside, a fastball. One ball, two strikes. Palante faced this traveler lineup back on May 16th, and he carried a no-hitter into the fifth inning that day. Similar to what Pike accomplished yesterday. The one-two. High with a fastball, two and two. In that game, Palante gave up one hit and one walk. Five plus shutout frames. He struck out four. Back on May the 16th, 2 2. This time tailing down and away. Kopak has done a nice job forcing it full by not chasing anything just outside of the zone. He had fallen behind early on, 0 2. Nobody on with two away. Palante would love a quick wrap up to inning number two for him. Payoff pitch. Down and away. A two out walk for Kopak. So from an 0 2 count to a free pass, Kopak extends this second inning for David Masters, the number eight batter. Masters hitting 167, two home runs, four runs batted in. The St. Louis in on this roster. Travelers have a couple of Cardinal connections. Their, hitter, their hitting coach and acting manager tonight, Joe Thurston, who is currently at third, of course, a former St. Louis Cardinal. This pitch right on the outside half. Masters takes strike one. David Masters from St. Louis. His dad... The baseball coach at Timberland High School up there. Nothing at one. Ripped on a line right field. Burleson's got to play it on the bounce. Racing to second, but stopping his Kopak. Burleson rifles it in from right. So the single for Masters keeps the inning going. Two on and two down. The batter, David Schaefer. He's the other Cardinal connection. His father, Danny, eight major league seasons with Boston, Cleveland, Colorado, and St. Louis from 87 to 97. Also coached in the minors, managed in the minors as well. Two on, two down. First one ripped on a line, kind of blooped on a line to shallow center. It gets in for a base hit, though, and scoring from second, Kopak. A two-out rally for the Trabs here in the second inning ties this game with Schaefer dunking a little liner into shallow center field. So Kopak initially extended the inning with a walk. Then the base hit by Masters to right field, followed by a single from Schaefer. Credit the lower third of this lineup for figuring out a way to Pull even on that scoreboard, one to one. Now the dangerous Josh Morgan back in there for his second at bat already. Palante starts him with a breaking ball and spins it down and away. One ball and nothing for Morgan in on the right side. Reached on an error to begin the game. Got as far as third base in that first stanza, but Palante stranded him. Morgan is 8 for 19 in the series. Two homers, eight RBIs. 1-0, gets a check swing. He both went around, and it was a strike. 
Fastball right on that inside corner. So an even count, one ball, one strike for Morgan. Masters at second base, Schaefer behind him. Two on, two down. One and one. Is a bouncer softly to third. It is foul. Gorman just to the left of that third base bag, fielding it. Morgan did the majority of his run producing damage in yesterday's game. He and Nolan Gorman both exchanging a pair of homers in that ball game. Difference was Morgan had a couple more guys on when he hit his. Gorman had three RBIs. Morgan had six RBIs with a two run blast and a grand slam. Palante kicks and spins back to second. No activity back there though as the base runner Masters coolly steps back. So we'll set back up. Cardinals with a little pull side shading guarding against Morgan on the left side but he's been shooting line drives all over the ballpark this week. And the one two to him. Pop foul. Now Morgan entered this series with a batting average right around 100. He had only played in a handful of games this year. He had a delayed start to his 2021 season. But you just knew that wasn't going to last. 25 year old, a longtime top prospect in the Rangers system, came through Frisco in now the old Texas League, but formerly this league a couple of years ago. 1 2 pitch. Up and away, Palante missing the mark. It's two and two. Morgan played 79 games in Frisco in 2018 and hit 231, three home runs, 30 RBIs. He did have 14 doubles in just over that half season. Two two, a curve, check swing. He goes around, says home plate umpire Hardlin Acosta. It is strike three. Raposo applies the tag. Morgan livid that Acosta didn't ask for help. So Morgan gets his money's worth and then walks back to the dugout. But Palante gets out of it with a swinging strikeout. First K for Andre today. And two more traps left out there. They do tie it up on the base hit by Schaefer. One to one through one and a half on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Cardinals picking him up for the bottom of the second inning. It is a tied ball game early at Hammonds Field. One to one through the first frame and a half as the left handed batting Aaron Antonini takes a change up outside. Ball one from the righty Devin Sweet. Sweet had to contend with some traffic in that opening frame. Cardinals got four men on. This one is tapped foul skipping off of O'Keefe who's already gotten nicked a couple times back there. So the count one and one for Antonini. Solo home run by Gorman put the Cardinals in the momentary one to nothing lead back in the first. One one fastball has the outside edge one and two. Then Brendan Donovan a double the fielder's choice however got him. Baker reached on that fielder's choice followed by the single from Burleson but Sweet able to get out of it with a fly out to right field. This pitch down and outside evens things to Antonini the 22 year old out of Hollywood Florida. Two balls two strikes. He's hit two home runs in this series. And the pitch is fouled right back beneath us. Look out in the suites. Two and two. The two homers this week against Arkansas have been the first two in the double A career of Antonini. Checking his swing and fouling one back to keep it two and two. Aaron overall in double A ball batting 290 two home runs seven RBIs 13th game appeared in. And there is quite a conversation going on at home plate right now between Antonini O'Keefe and the home plate umpire Harlan Acosta 2 2 spoiled again by Aaron he'll fight away and see another one. 
think perhaps primarily it's between O'Keefe and the home plate umpire. Two and two. Check swing. That one fluttering down and in. Antonini able to keep that bat back. So a full count for the Cardinal DH. One for three yesterday with a solo home run in the eighth inning. Three and two is nowhere near. It's outside. And Aaron Antonini works a leadoff walk with a terrific plate appearance. That was a nine pitch plate appearance for Antonini. So the free pass brought to you, of course, by Red Wing Shoes. Wherever your feet take you, visit Red Wing Shoes at 1707 South Campbell for a full line of Red Wing work boots, Irish setter work and hunt boots, and Heritage Classic handcrafted footwear for men and women. First pitch to Nick Dunn popped up. Shallow right center field. Long run in for the center fielder who can't get there. Wren couldn't get there. He does come up throwing the second, but Antonini beats it out. That's a base hit for Dunn, dropping it into shallow center. Antonini just able to slide into second before the throw from Wren. Aaron had to kind of hold up, assuming someone was going to catch that ball. But a good job by Antonini to turn those jets on and be able to get to second safely. So two men are on. Nick Raposo is the batter. That is the second fly ball already today that you could probably make a case should have been caught. Certainly can't give an error on it. As Sweet fires a fastball to Raposo. Ripped right back into the screen. Strike one for the Cardinal catcher who's batting 286 through 10 games. The double by Donovan in the first inning. I think if you've got a good right fielder out there, not to say Schaefer's not that, but an experienced right fielder, maybe takes a little sharper route on it. Maybe still wouldn't have been able to make a catch, but could have perhaps kept Donovan to a base hit. Might have been able to make a catch. And certainly the Dunn fly ball a moment ago, if you're Devin Sweet, you'd really like someone to catch that. Now the wind is blowing in. As this is tapped softly in front of home plate. O'Keefe calls Sweet away, bare hands it, and fires a bullet to first. So it acts as a bunt, essentially. Except for the whole sacrifice part. Raposo is retired two to three. Down to third, Antonini into second base, Dunn. Cardinals with two men in scoring position for the top of this lineup. And Delvin Perez coming up. So all four infielders will draw in. They're standing right on the edge of the infield grass. Outfielder is a step or two shallow as well to try to prohibit two from scoring on a single. First one to Perez. Big swing and a miss at a good off-speed pitch by Devin Sweet. Cardinals left two in the first inning. Trying to cash in with two in scoring position here. 0-1. Swing and a pop-up right side. Going back from second. Morgan back to the very shallow portion of the grass. Nowhere near deep enough. And he makes the catch for a big second out. Well, that's exactly what Sweet was looking for. The problem now he's got is that Nolan Gorman is coming up. Gorman already with a solo home run, which was, by the way, of course, a Volt Credit Union home run for good. Every time the Cardinals hit a home run here at Hammonds Field this year, Volt Credit Union makes a donation to the Foundation for Springfield Public Schools. Learn more and revolt against banking as usual at voltcu.org. This pitch up and outside. Gorman takes ball one. Nolan has hit seven of those Volt Credit Union home runs for good. Eight total this year, seven coming at home. Two on, two down, the 1-0. Bounces away from O'Keefe, trying to score on it is Antonini, and he'll come in without a play. Down to third, goes Dunn. It is a wild pitch charged to Sweet. 
And the Cardinals are back in front two to one. So now it's done. The only man out there, he's at third. The third base umpire is talking to Jose LaHare. I don't think he liked how far Jose was coming down the line. So we're going to start policing the coaches' boxes. LaHare will go the other way. <laughs> and the pitch to Gorman. Bins in there for a strike. I'm not sure I've ever seen in double A baseball. A manager told to get back behind the coach's box. But that's the great part about baseball. You see something new. Pitch to Gorman, tattooed right field. Did he do it again? He did. Two innings, two home runs for Nolan Gorman. Back to back days with two rockets off the 21 year old's back. And it is four to one Cardinals. Ninth of the year, up to 22 runs batted in. He just put a dent in the media comm sign on the edge of the clubhouse. First one here to Brendan Donovan is inside. Ball one. Cardinals ahead four to one on Nolan Gorman's second home run in his many innings. Swing and a miss. Donovan over the top. One and one. So another Volt Credit Union home run for good. Nolan is going to have a statue at the foundation for Springfield Public Schools if he keeps this up. One one to Donovan down and in two and one every time Gorman and all the Cardinals hit a home run here at Hammonds Field. Our friends at Volt Credit Union make a donation to the foundation for Springfield Public Schools. You can learn more at voltcu.org. Three balls and a strike for Donovan. So this is stretching the bounds of my mathematical skills but Gorman is now up to six home runs this week. Four in his last 11 innings. This pitch outside. Donovan works ball four. So he is back on for the second time at as many tries, and that is a Red Wing shoes walk. From work to the weekend, the job site to the ballpark, and everything in between. Red Wing shoes in Springfield has your feet covered no matter where you're walking. So visit them right now at 1707 South Campbell. Red Wing shoes here in Springfield. Luke and Baker the batter Donovan is at first base two down in this second inning and the pitch rip foul right back into the screen obviously you've got no idea what the plans are how things end up playing out but you might want to come catch Nolan Gorman here at Hammonds Field before too long just incredible week for him. An incredible month of June. Here's a swing and a miss. Strike two. Nolan in the month of May had hit 274 with three homers and 10 RBIs. He entered this game in June hitting 395, four home runs, nine RBIs in 10 games. And so far today, mind you, it's the second inning. He's already got two home runs and three more runs batted in. This pitch is outside. Baker in a one ball, two strike count. Donovan away from first. You've got to keep an eye on him. He's already four for four stealing bases. Lucan takes a slider from Sweet down and away. Two and two. Cardinals with four runs on five hits. Travs to have one run on two hits. Two two. Swing and a miss. The fastball getting Lucan. Had a good pitch by Sweet. So no further damage in the second, but the Cardinals right back in front on a run scoring wild pitch and another home run for Nolan Gorman. A two run shot this time. It is four to one cards through the first two on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals radio network. 
Cardinals right back in front. It is four to one. Thanks to another home run by Nolan Gorman, who's got two in the first two innings of this game. So top of the third, Andre Palante back to work. Bobby Honeyman, Jake Shiner, and Brian O'Keefe, two, three, and four for Arkansas coming up. Yeah, the first from Palante is low for ball one. Now, Nolan Gorman hit two home runs yesterday. Had, let's see, I think two at-bats after his second one, if I'm not mistaken, to try to get that third home run. Palante gets a chopper to the right side. Done right there again. He's had a busy day in the field. And more perfect work by the Cardinals second baseman. That is already his fourth assist. Playing a good second. Nolan only had one at bat after his second home run yesterday. And came one shy from setting the new regular season single game record for the Cardinals. There has never been a Springfield Cardinal in the previous 15 years to hit three home runs in a regular season game. As Andre Palante spins a good curveball in for strike one to Jake Shiner. Chris Swagger, who is back uh, to managing in the Cardinals system. He hit three out of the park in a playoff game in 2012. Part of that championship winning team that year is a half swing by Shiner. We'll dip him down in the count, nothing in two. But no Cardinal has ever hit three out in a regular season game. Gorman's already got two in the first two innings. I'm not sure how many have hit two in the first two innings. Pass ball, chopper up the middle. Dunn ranges to his right, backhands, plants, whips, a throwback to first base. Nick Dunn with five assists, two-thirds of the way through the third inning. And that was a tough play. High bouncing chopper, had a lot of backspin on it. Dunn cutting to his right. About eight or so feet behind the bag at second. Had a good, strong throw to get Shiner. Nobody on for Brian O'Keefe, two away. Palante fires a curve, gets a fly ball, towering to medium deep right center. Vinsky, the center fielder, calls off Burleson and makes the catch. A quick one, two, three inning for Palante. Cardinals lead it four to one, and they're picking the bats right back up for the bottom of the third on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Cardinal baseball on the radio brought to you by Mercy, the official sports medicine and orthopedics provider of the Springfield Cardinals. To find the Mercy Pro that's right for you, visit mercy.net slash team cardinals. Good crowd here on this Saturday night. Had the largest crowd of the year yesterday. I've got a feeling I think we're going to surpass it tonight. It's a good crowd out here. On this Saturday, and they are getting a good show early on. Cardinals up 4-1. to one. Here comes Alec Burleson. Devin Sweet back to work. Burleson one for one with a single. Takes a high breaking ball. Ball number one. Alec is hitting 289, five home runs, 15 RBIs. This time the curve cuts on the outer corner for a strike. Twenty first game in double A for Burleson who puts this in the air left field towards the line the left fielder Kopak ranges into foul territory just enough room to put it away. And somewhat of a tough luck foul out off the bat of Burleson. There's not a lot of playable foul territory down the left field line after you get past that great Southern Bank cutout. But just enough room for Kopat. So one down the batter David Vinsky and the pitch big swing and a miss by Vinsky from the right side nothing in one. Vinsky's hitting 239, three home runs, 14 RBIs. Check swing, a little liner into foul territory. A gentleman almost made a barehanded catch. He spilled a little bit of his Budweiser in the process. 
and then he's not going to end up with the souvenir. It rolls all the way back down half of the stands. It's a tough break. Well, Vinsky will give him another chance. Here's a foul ball, a little further away this time. Nothing in two. Now the wind is blowing really in from left field. If you hit it to right, it probably wouldn't be too wind affected. As a fastball is up and in, one and two. Both Gorman's home runs have gone to right field, but it's worth noting that Nolan has hit the ball out of this park twice in the first two innings of this game with the wind blowing in. One, two. Down and outside, the count evens two and two. No question, some nights here at Hammonds Field between cozy dimensions and a wind that typically is pointed the opposite it is right now, blowing out to left. You can get some pop-up home runs here. Either one of Nolan's first two tonight have been of that department. Here's a bouncer to third, gloved up well by Honeyman. He whips it across the diamond. Five to three put out, they're two away. So Aaron Antonini will dig in on the left side. He worked a walk and scored on the wild pitch in the second inning. Nine pitch walk battled out by Antonini against this righty Devin Sweet. I always wonder the cumulative effect of a plate appearance like that. This pitch right down the heart of the plate. A good breaking ball by Sweet for strike one. Nothing at one. Antonini takes it outside. One ball, one strike. High striped red socks pulled up above the white pant legs for Antonini on the left side. Big home run swing. Comes up empty on a fastball. And the count for Aaron is one and two. Antonini with the walk today has now been on base in 12 of his last 13 games. Fouls this on a line to our left down below. Over that time period, Antonini is batting 355. Nice play by a gentleman who has a baby in one arm and caught the foul ball with the other on the carom down there. Here's a foul ball down the left field line. So it'll stay one and two. Antonini in his last 13 games, he's been on base in 12 of those. 355 average, two home runs, a double, seven RBIs, and eight walks. He has somewhat taken ownership of the DH role in this lineup as the one two pitch, high for ball two. He'll be back there catching still. Nick Raposo is catching tonight. Yvonne Herrera, the everyday catcher, with the evening off. But a lot of options for Jose LaHare at that position, and they're all good. As a breaking ball is up and outside, three and two. Even stance left side, Antonini with a very relaxed batting stance, kind of leaning back a little bit. Payoff pitch to him. is high for ball four. Another Red Wing shoes walk taken by Antonini. So he is on yet again. And the batter coming up is Nick Dunn. Antonini will be held at first base by McGovern. Sweet back to the stretch. First one to Dunn it is across for a strike. Oh, Cardinals walks presented by Red Wing Shoes, serving Springfield for over 50 years. They've got a fit for every customer and a boot or shoe for every walk of life. Visit Red Wing Shoes in Springfield today at 1707 South Campbell. Oh, one is fouled away. Peppered over the Redbird roost off the bat of Dunn. The count nothing in two. Cardinals lead this game 4-1, to one, bottom of the third inning. Springfield claimed the first two games of this series. Arkansas, much to their credit, however, has dug in and won two in a row as the pitch misses outside here to Dunn for ball number one. So we find ourselves in a similar scenario as we did 
when San Antonio was here playing the Cardinals. The two teams splitting those first four games, going into the last two games of a week-long series with things up for grabs. Swing and a miss here. Sweet gets out of it with a swinging strikeout. He puts his first zero up there on the line score. But the Cardinals lead it 4-1 to one through the first third of this game. You're catching Cardinal baseball with us here on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. This game moves along to the top of the fourth inning. We take a moment to, to tell you about Great Southern Bank. From home loans to bank accounts that fit you, fortify your financial foundation at greatsouthernbank.com. Andre Pallante back to work. He's got a 4-1 to lead to work with. And he misses down low for ball number one to left-handed batting Keegan McGovern. Fastball missed perhaps outside. So the count 2-0. Now the Cardinals and Cubs in game two of that series. And Chicago has put up four runs in the second inning. Cardinals had scored one in the top of the inning on a solo home run by Nolan Arenado. That has been a race, though, as Chicago's actually now put up a fifth run. So it is five to one Cubs. Not a happy Cardinals update. As the 3 0, half swing by McGovern. He tipped it foul, technically. It's a strike either way. Busy day around the double-A central today. We were the early game, so everybody else just getting going at the top of the 7 o'clock hour. 3-1 pitch. A bouncer softly rides side, charging in done, gloves it up, shuttles it over to Baker in time. And Nick Dunn is going to sleep well tonight. That is his sixth assist already. Playing a terrific second base so far. And a another one that was trickier than it looked. Having a hurry. McGovern moves well down that first baseline. Done kind of in between what he wanted to do, and he just sort of flipped it with a little backhanded shuttle perfectly to Baker. Fastball right into Steven Wren. Strike one for the speedster in the right-handed batter's box. Always a guy you want to keep off base. Palante has done just that with a ground out in the line of Wren. Here's a bouncer hit high in front of the mound. Backhanded by Palante. Fires a fastball to first, but it pulls Baker off the bag. Wren may have beaten it out anyway with his speed. And it will be an infield single. Now that was going to be a tough play the minute Wren made contact with it. This is a guy that stole 44 bases back in 2018 in Corpus Christi. And basically just kind of delivered a swinging bunt. So one on, one down. You've got to watch him over there at first. Stays put on a fastball that Kopak fouls back into the screen. Cardinals play for two up the middle. Double play combo of Perez at short, done at second. Gorman is stepping at third. Baker holds Wren at first base. The outfield straight away. Kopak today has a walk and a run. Upright stance, right side. Little flick of the bat as he awaits the pitch. Alante instead spins and throws to first, but Wren dives back. Top of the fourth inning on this Saturday in downtown Springfield. A perfect night for baseball. Cardinals with a 4-1 to lead behind two early homers tonight by Gorman. The 0-1. Bunted down the third base side, placed well. Backing up is Gorman. He's going to let it roll, and he does, and it goes foul. Boy, a great read by Gorman. That was inches away from being a perfect bunt by Kopak. I think Nolan recognized pretty quickly he didn't stand a chance. Nobody would have stood, stood a chance. So he gambled, let it roll, and it helped out by angling itself across the chalk. 
So a foul ball, a near miss for Kopak. He is back in the batter's box. Back to first, Wren. Palante, the 0-2. That is taken high by Kopak. One ball, two strikes. Well, Palante had a six-pitch third inning, which really was critical for him because he had had to labor a little bit in the second inning. That was a 24-pitch frame with the two-out rally by Arkansas engineered by this portion of the lineup, the lower third as a soft grounder by Kopak up the middle. Backhanded by Dunn. Steps on second for one. Fires to first in time for two. Nick Dunn turns the double play. Another assist for him already. You can make it seven for Dunn through the first four innings. And he gets a put out on that one as well. Great work by Dunn. It's four to one Cardinals through three and a half on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals radio network. Cardinals lead this game four to one. It is the bottom of the fourth inning. And the batter Nick Raposo will lead off nine one and two for the Cardinals. With Raposo Perez and Gorman. Facing the right hander Devin Sweet. Got himself on track with his first scoreless inning in the third. And misses for ball one to Raposo here. Nick on the right handed side. Grounded out to the catcher O'Keefe. It was a tapper in front of home plate. Takes a high heater for ball number two. Little pull side shading on the infield. Outfield just about straight away. 2-0 ripped right back into the backstop. Two balls and a strike. 11th game in double A ball for Nick Raposo. He opened up the season here in Springfield. One of the catchers on the roster. Even stance for him on the right side as the 2-1 checks in high. And the pitch to Raposo has the outside edge this time from Sweet. So a full count. Sweet kicks and deals. Raposo pops it up. Foul side of first base. Over for it McGovern. And he's got enough room to put it away. Out number one to open up this fourth inning. So the first one for Delvin Perez misses a little bit low. Ball number one. Delvin swings through a good changeup. Nothing in two count, or excuse me, one and one count. And this is hammered on a line. Deep left field going back is the left fielder. Kopak. It's out of here. Delvin Perez drives it out to left field. And it's 5-1 to one Cardinals. Second and double-A ball for the 22-year-old. A missile on a low plane that just kept carrying out to left field. The third Volt Credit Union home run for good of the ball game. The first two hit by this guy, Nolan Gorman. Cardinals up five to one. The pitch to Gorman is high for ball one. So Delvin Perez getting in on it, a solo home run. Gorman with a solo home run in the first, a two run home run in the second. And he takes it on the outside edge here, one and one. No Springfield Cardinal has ever hit a 
third home run in the same game in the regular season. Chris Swagger did it back in 2012. Gorman gets into this one. It's deep right field and it's gone. Three home runs for Nolan Gorman. The first time in Springfield Cardinals history in the regular season. And a standing ovation at Hammonds Field. It is six to one Cardinals. Gorman is three for three with three home runs. Back to back in this inning with Perez. Chris Schwager did it in a playoff game in Tulsa back in 2012. Nolan Gorman does it for the first time ever in team history in a regular season game, June 12, 2021. We've got a Burl Behavioral Health mound visit. So the Rough Riders, or excuse me, the Travelers talking it over. I'm back in 2012 still. Swagger hit those three homers against Tulsa. The Cardinals then went on to, of course, beat Frisco in the playoffs that year. But history at Hammonds Field tonight. Nolan Gorman, the first ever player to do it in a regular season ball game. And here is Brendan Donovan on the left side. First one out of the Borough Behavioral Health now to visit down and in ball one. Donovan one for one a double and a walk. Swing and a miss a good change it's one and one. Cardinals have four home runs in this game three off the bat of Gorman. And the pitch is down and in. So we've had four Volt Credit Union home runs for good. Every time the Cardinals hit a home run here at home, Volt makes a donation to the Foundation for Springfield Public Schools. This might be another one. Donovan cranks it out to right field. It's at the wall, and it's gone. Three straight home runs for the Cardinals. Perez, Gorman, Donovan. Seven to one, Springfield. The first in double A for Donovan. Five home runs hit by the Cardinals and that's going to be all for Devin Sweet with Joe Thurston coming out for a Mr. Car Wash pitching change. My goodness this is getting expensive for Volt Credit Union. They make a donation to Foundation of Springfield Public Schools every time the Cardinals go yard here at home. And we're having a great night for SPS. Learn more and revolt against banking as usual at voltcu.org. Cardinals swinging away seven to one. We'll be right back. It's a pitching change on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. So Moyers will take over. And Luke and Baker is trying to make it four in a row. First one to Lucan hits on the outside edge for strike one. Last time the Cardinals hit three straight home runs. It's been a little while. This is down and in one and one. July 25th of 2005. Travis Hansen, Aaron Hur, and Juan Diaz against Arkansas. Here's one deep to left field by Baker. Back is Kopak. It is up against the wall. Baker chugging into second. He's in standing with a double. Seventh double of the year for Baker, the fourth straight extra base hit. 
in one of the most powerful innings in Cardinals history. First time since 2005, the inaugural season, that three Cardinals have hit a home run in a row. And Baker just followed up that trio with a double. Here's Alec Burleson. Curve inside, ball one. Seven to one Cardinals. The line seven runs, nine hits, one miscue. They have hit five home runs. The 1 0. At the kneecaps. One ball, one strike. Left handed Stephen Moyers, number 20 on his back, six feet, 190, out of Longmeadow, Massachusetts. And the pitch. He has a bouncer softly back towards the middle. Charging from short is Masters. He fires to first in time. And gets Burleson by a stride, 6-3. to three. Down to third base does go Baker. David Vinsky will dig in. But we are putting the media guide to work tonight. The Cardinals record for... Most home runs in a ball game. They hit seven back on July 8th, 2016 against Corpus Christi. So still a little ways to go before that one. As this is down and in, David Vinsky takes ball one. Cardinals had hit eight home runs in the first four games against the Trabs here this week. Curve down and in for ball number two. It had been a little curious in the month of May with all of the firepower in this lineup and they were hitting for high averages but the homers weren't flying at the rate you'd think they would be in a ballpark like this. Curve over the outer half two and one. Now weather is certainly a factor but well they're flying here in June. With 13 of them in the series for the Cardinals. This pitch outside and a good hitters count for Vinsky. Baker at third base, two away. Cardinals ahead, 7-1 to one here in the last of the fourth inning. A historic inning in Cardinal history. Is a swing and a miss here, strike two. Moyers winds and fires. And it's fluttered up the middle. A tough play on a short bounce by Morgan, but he's able to trap it at the belt and then throw to first in time. Good play by the second baseman. Cardinals, though, for the first time since 2005, hit three straight home runs. And for the first time ever, Nolan Gorman with a three-home run game. First Cardinal to ever do that in the regular season. Seven to one cards through four in the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Cardinal Baseball brought to you by Price Cutter and Ozarks Coca-Cola. Be sure to pick up all your favorite Coca-Cola products at Price Cutter, your local employee-owned grocer. 7-1 Cardinal lead, five home runs hit by the Cardinals. As we have detailed, multiple different historic achievements tonight. And we're only through four innings. Here's David Masters to lead off for the Trabs. Andre Palante right back to work. Lengthy break in the dugout, but when your team keeps hitting home runs, I think you'll take it. He finds the inside edge for strike one to Masters. Palante rocks back and fires home. Good slider, strike two. Well, a big night off the field as well for a couple of different reasons. One, of course, it's our first promotional giveaway going on with the Central Bank of the Ozarks White Cardinals caps tonight. All of our promotions were announced at first pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three here. Palante gets Masters on three pitches, and he ends up inadvertently kicking the ball away from Raposo, so he'll just be called out. Strikeout for Palante, his second today. And the batter, David Schaefer, coming up. All of our promotional giveaway items have dates. They are scheduled, and they are live on the website, springfieldcardinals.com. Check them out right now. You can get your tickets to those games if you don't have them already. And you still can guarantee all of them with a Red Access membership and a promo club. 
for Red Access home run members and above are eligible for that promo club. Then you don't have to worry about getting in line. This pitch on the inside edge, strike one to Schaefer. Palante kicks at a curve, stays high, one and one. Also going on tonight, it is night two of mobile ordering here at Hammonds Field. You can order from your seats every night at the ballpark. One and one is hit hard to left center field. That's going to split the gap and be in for extra bases. Rounding first on his way to second, Schaefer. Fired back in by Vinsky, but a standing double for David Schaefer with one away. So he is two for two. He's got the RBI for Arkansas from that base hit in the second. He follows that up with a double here in the fifth. When you're here at the ballpark, we've got a QR code that you can scan on your cell phone for a mobile ordering. You can also pull up the uh, page to order on SpringfieldCardinals.com slash food. Nice and easy. It gets delivered right to your seat. You do not have to even move a muscle. Aside from the muscles in your thumb, you do have to move those. This pitch to Josh Morgan. Back to the top of this Arkansas lineup. And it's a little low for ball one. Morgan 0 for 2 today at the top of the Arkansas lineup. He's reached on an error and struck out. The 1-0. Down and away, ball number two. One odd, one down here in the top of the fifth inning. Palante has been very good once again as he continues to navigate against this traveler order. 2-0 to the dangerous Josh Morgan, and it's in there for a strike. Good fastball. Two balls and a strike. Palante fires a fastball in there again. Two and two. Come on out tomorrow. We're having some fun tonight. Cardinals setting a couple of different records. One record in and of itself, and then tying another with the three straight home runs. 6.05 first pitch tomorrow. Who knows what we'll see? Two and two. Is a bouncer softly back up the middle. Dunn comes swooping in from second. Throws on the run to first. And Baker kept his foot on the bag. A great play at first base by Luke Baker. Saving an error. And getting the out of Morgan. With yet another assist by Nick Dunn. He's up to eight assists. Dunn is. So down to third base goes Schaefer. Two down, Bobby Honeyman will dig in. Honeyman is 0 for 1. He worked a walk back in the first inning. As a curve swoops in there, strike one. Honeyman then was retired on one of the 4-3 putouts, tailored by Nick Dunn. Palante toes the rubber from the far first base side. Hands held up at the chin. Feel one. Swing and a miss. Good slider by Andre. That curveball slider combo. Two very good breaking balls coming out of the right hand, complementing the fastball. Slow half swing by Honeyman on the left side. The 0-2 drops down to the dirt. Blocked well back there by Raposo with the runner at third base. So one ball and two strikes. Here at game five of the series, 
We close out this 12 game in 13 day homestand tomorrow. So be sure to join us. 6.05 first pitch. Gates open at 5.05. We've got the happy half hour going, of course. The first 30 minutes after gates open. Drink specials on all adult beverages for fans 21 and up. 1-2 from Palante. Swing and a miss. Strike three. He gets Honeyman and gets out of it with the traveler left at third base. Cardinals lead this game 7-1. We've played four and a half on the Missouri Department of Transportation, Missouri Department of Conservation, Cardinals Radio Network. Now we're halfway home tonight, and if you ever find yourself halfway home with car problems, there's only one company to call. That's Henry's Towing. Aaron Antonini rockets the first one right back through. A base hit for the DH on base for the third time in as many tries. He opens up the fifth inning with a single. We'll tell you more about that in a moment, but first, more about Henry's Towing. For 50 years, they've been helping people with toes and jumps to get you the rest of the way home. If you need to get home, let Henry do it. So the Cardinals up to 10 hits in this game. They're up 7-1. to one. The left-hander, Stephen Moyer, is back on the mound for his first full inning. And the first pitch to Nick Dunn is across at the knees. Strike one. Breaking ball low to Dunn for ball number one. Nick is one for two with a single and a strikeout. Antonini held at first base where he's been three times already. And the pitch. Bins in. Good curve out of the left hand of Moyers. So the count is one and two for the native of Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Dunn has been active defensively with eight assists already in this game. The one two fouled back into the screen. And <laughs> a nice hand for the gentleman in the front row whose Dasani water bottle was knocked off the half wall. He caught it with the bare hand and then held it up for the applause. A showman. One and two. Bouncer softly to the right side. Morgan can't make the stop. It goes out to right field. Antonini around second, trying for third, and he's going to get in standing. An error on Morgan. A tough play because of the runner, Antonini, who was getting in the neighborhood at about the same time as the ball was approaching Morgan. So the Cardinals have him at the corners with nobody down. And the batter coming up is Nick Raposo. I believe they have perhaps given that a hit. Moyers peers over to first base, the pitch. Across at the knees, a good breaking ball to Raposo. Now they have indeed, so Nick Dunn will get a single on that play. This is a bouncer softly down the first baseline. It's foul. McGovern gloved it up right on the foul side of the line, so Antonini will return back to third base. Dunn back to first. Raposo back into the batter's box, trailing at 0-2. Cardinals leading this game 7-1. to one. They've got 11 hits now with two singles opening up this fifth inning. Facing the veteran Stephen Moyers who came on after the third consecutive home run in the fourth inning. Perez, Gorman, and Donovan back to back to back for the first time since 2005. Cardinals accomplishing that feat as this pitch down and in. One ball and two strikes for Raposo. So Moyers at this point trying to accomplish two things. One, find a way to quiet down these bats. And two, eat up some innings out of the bullpen. One, two is a chopper towards the middle. Cut off it short. Backhanded by Masters to Morgan for one. Throw to first, not in time. And scoring is Antonini. An RBI fielder's choice for Raposo. 
And the Cardinals now lead it eight to one here tonight. Put out on that play six to four. But credit Raposo for motoring down the line, staying out of the double play. And earning an RBI for his efforts. That is his first double A RBI. One odd one down. Here's Delvin. A bouncer softly left side. This is going to be a tough play. Charging in from third, Honeyman. He can't make the barehanded pickup. Perez is safe. And that'll be an infield single. Well, Delvin didn't hit it very hard, and that's what made it such a tough play for Honeyman charging in from third. Here comes Nolan Gorman. Already the first player in team history to hit three home runs in a regular season game. It's only the fifth inning, so he can break his own record. Runners at first and second, one down the pitch. On the inside edge, strike one. Gorman is up to 10 home runs with three of them in this game. He's batting 331. He's got four RBIs. The 0 1. Inside and high. One ball, one strike. This good Saturday night crowd at Hammonds Field wants to see a fourth one. Raposo, the man at second. Perez at first. The pitch. Big swing and a miss. It's one and two. No Cardinal has ever hit four in a ball game. The one two taken down and outside two and two. Gorman in the slightly open stance left side bat resting on the back shoulder. 2 2 pitch fouled back out of play. <laughs> you know on educational days. When the kids are here, every pop-up gets the oohs and the ahs and the applause from the kids. They're just happy to see anything happen. Nolan Gorman has turned us into a whole stadium full of kids tonight. In awe of it as he fouls another one back. Each foul ball drawing awes from the fans here at Hammonds Field. He is three for three with three home runs in the first four innings of this game he's up again here in the fifth 2 2 pitch taken low for ball number three here's the three two a half swing foul into the stands. You're going to want that souvenir. We'll set up for another one. Moyer set up right at the letters. 3 2. Taken outside, ball four. Gorman works a walk. How about that? An opportunity to hit a fourth home run, and he takes a close fastball outside to keep the line moving instead and take that free pass. So the walk brought to you by Red Wing Shoes, of course, loads him up here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Cardinals already up 8-1. to one. And here's Brendan Donovan, who hit that third straight home run in the fourth inning. His first in double-A ball. He's two for two, a solo shot, a double, and a walk. Takes a curve on the inside corner for a strike. Cardinals this year have already hit three grand slams. With the bases loaded, they have excelled early on here in 2021. Hold one for Donovan. Swing and a miss and a good curve ball. Nothing in two. As a team in these scenarios, 
Springfield is batting 290. Three home runs, 31 RBIs already with the bases full. 0-2 pitch. Donovan shoots a liner to left field. It's carrying right out, however, to Kopak. Tagging, trying to score. Raposo, the throw home, not in time. It's a sack fly for Donovan, and it's 9-1 Cardinals. Second RBI of the ballgame for Donovan. That brings in Raposo from third. Perez stayed at second. Gorman at first base. And here's Luke and Baker who scorched a double his last time up. Baker set up on the right side. And the pitch to him. In for a strike. Good fastball by Moyers. Moyers is 27 years old. Went to the University of Rhode Island. He's from Sharon, Connecticut. Nothing at one, and it's skipped foul by Lucan down the third baseline. So the count is 0-2. Third outing this year for Moyers. He had not given up a run in the first five and a third innings of his season. Two hits, a walk, four Ks coming in. Cardinals have gotten him for a run. Two runs, I should say, here in this inning. He was able to work around the double he allowed to Baker in the fourth and get the Trabs out of that inning with no further damage. Cardinals have scored in every inning but the third tonight as Lucan takes up and away. One and two. Gorman hit a solo home run in the first. Then he hit a two-run home run in the second. Then it was the three consecutive solo home runs by Perez. Gorman with his record-setting one. And Donovan with his record-matching one from a team perspective. 1-2, a broken bat flare to short, backing up a step, Masters, and he snags it down. So the liner caught for the final piece of the fifth inning, but the Cardinals keep on swinging. Two more runs. It is 9-1 Springfield through five on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Andre Palante right back to work as this game carries us into the top of the sixth inning. 9-1 Cardinals. And a fastball pegged in for a strike to the tough right-handed hitter, Jake Shiner. 3, 4, and 5 in the Arkansas lineup. Shiner's gone 0 for 2. Couple of ground outs. One turned into a double play. Palante peers in. And the right-hander gets a foul ball. Hit well, but long out of play. That actually... <laughs> Hit the light pole out there in the superior rinse nest and wound up back into section, not only section A, but all the way back into section C. Heck of a bounce. Palante, a curve, swatted foul, the third base side. Well, tonight's sixth inning is brought to you by the Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks. Discover America's fastest-growing full-line brand at ChevyDealersOfTheOzarks.com today. Andre Palante has been superb once again out there. One run on four hits in his first five innings while he's gotten a home run derby of offensive support tonight. Bouncing this one, it's one and two. If Palante can record an out, it'll be his longest outing of the year. Here's a fly ball, center field. A couple of steps in, Vinsky, he's right there. And there is that out. So five and a third innings for Andre Palante. Not to say he's done, but that does mark the first time that he has gotten it out in the sixth inning so far. We're going to start seeing starting pitchers not only for the Cardinals but really around the league and really around the minors begin to be able to throw a little deeper into games. I think every organization being very careful early on this season after the missed year last year with pitch counts. There's a fastball high to Brian O'Keefe, ball one. But as things progress a little bit, you're going to get to see some longer performances out there on the mound. Palante bends one down and in. The count two balls and nothing for the former Cardinal O'Keefe. 
He's 0 for 2 today with a bouncer to third, a pop out to center. 2 and 0. Ooh, fastball that just did not get that strike call. A little bit down and away. Raposo whipped it back up with his mitt, but Harlan Acosta didn't like it. Three balls and nothing for the dangerous O'Keefe, who's had an outstanding week in his own right. And he takes a strike at the knees here. O'Keefe had tossed the bat, so he's going to hear it from the crowd. And he's going to give it back to Acosta. As Brian goes and gets the bat. Hitters counted three and one. O'Keefe and the home plate umpire were having a conversation earlier when Brian was behind home plate. I'm sure this is an, extin an ex extension of that conversation now going to be accentuated by a curve from Palante whipping on the inside edge. Three balls, two strikes. One down, nobody on. Cardinals ahead by eight. The 3 2. A soft grounder left side, going to be a tough one. Gorman charges in, bare hands, no throw. O'Keefe winds up with a base hit. We've seen a bunch of those today. Little soft tappers essentially working his bunts. Jabs have had a couple, Cardinals have had a couple. This time it's Brian O'Keefe. So it's the fifth hit of the ball game for the Trabs. They're lined 1-5-0. and oh. Cards at 9-12-1. and one. Five of those 12 hits have been homers. Keegan McGovern settles in on the left-handed side. Third time at bat for the first baseman today. Cardinals over shift on the right. And a fastball is hit right into that shift. Gorman right there. Flips to Perez for one. On to first in time for two. McGovern was burning down the line, but Gorman and Perez get together for a 4-6-3 double play. 6-1 run frames for Palante tonight. Cards up 9-1 on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Alec Burleson will lead off the bottom of the sixth inning. 9 to 1 Cardinals. Lefty Stephen Moyers is back out for Arkansas. Andre Palante through 6 1 run innings. Here's a fly ball hit deep by Burleson. In front of the track is the right fielder, however. And Schaefer is able to put it away on the edge of the warning track. So Burleson gives it a ride, but it runs out of gas out there. And there is one down to open the bottom of the sixth inning. David Vinsky will dig in. Cardinals do have a left-hander warming in the Ozark fence home bullpen. So Palante likely done for the day as a fastball checks in for a strike to Vinsky. David has been kept 0 for 3 today. Fly out and two ground outs. Taps this one foul back into the screen. Nothing in two. Moyers with the 0-2. Shot down the third base side, a foul ball. Even stance right side for Vinsky. The 0-2. Here's a liner hit sharply to short. Picked on the backhand by Masters. He fires wide at first base into the Cardinals' dugout. So Vinsky will get second. There will at least be an error on the throw. And it will be a single with an E6. So an infield base hit for Vinsky. That was an awfully tough play at short. A low liner that took a late bounce on Masters. Made a heck of a pick. And then threw wide of first base. So it's a single and E6 combo. Vinsky's on at second base. 
Aaron Antonini is the batter. He has yet to be retired. And the first one to him, a little bit low for ball one. Antonini's worked a pair of walks in this game and then singled himself on. He's batting 313 in double A. The 1-0. Bouncer foul, first base side. It'll even at one and one. Antonini, born in Caracas, Venezuela. Calls Hollywood, Florida home. He played his college ball stateside at Middle Tennessee, Middle Tennessee State. Cardinals picked him in the 18th round in 2019. As the 1-1 one, one to him is hit hard to deep right field, down the line, tailing foul into the corner. Antonini hit a home run yesterday. He hit a mammoth three-run home run back in the opening game of the series on Tuesday. That was his first in double-A ball. And he turned right around and did it again yesterday with a solo home run that led off the eighth inning. He's got Vinsky with good speed at second. The one-two. Check swing, breaking ball down and away. Third base umpire says yes, and that is the first time they have found a way to keep Aaron Antonini off base. Swinging strike out on the check swing try. So two down with Vinsky remaining at second base. Nick Dunn is the batter. Dunn has been all over the place at second in the field tonight. I may have lost accurate count but with the double play in the sixth inning I believe he is up to nine assists this pitch spins in for a strike it is nine assists tonight for Nick Dunn nothing in one Swing and a fly ball, hit hard right center field, cutting over to his right with a little jump and grab on it. David Schaefer gliding into the gap to take away extra bases from Dunn and wrap up a scoreless last of the sixth inning. Cardinals lead this game 9-1, to one, two-thirds of the way through here at Hammonds Field. It's Cardinal Baseball on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. We go to the seventh inning, and we've got a Mr. Carwash pitching change on the Cardinals' side. Terrific start by Andre Palante, his eighth straight outing, all eight of them this year. He has not allowed more than two runs in any performance. And that continues tonight with six one-run innings in the book for the Cardinals starter exiting with a 9-1 to lead. So the left-hander Patrick Dayton will take over. Here in this seventh inning, he'll be up against Wren, Kopak, and Masters. Six, seven, and eight for the Trabs. Right-handed swing and center fielder takes a strike out of the left hand of Patrick Dayton. Nothing and one. Dayton wears number 12 on his back, toes the rubber from the far first base side. And the lefty with a breaking ball. It's ripped to third off the, pack, off the picket try by Gorman, caught in the air by Perez after bouncing. He then threw to first. That would have been, at that point, we should have just stopped tonight. If they were able to make that, in addition to nine assists for Nick Dunn, five home runs, a record three for Gorman. If they could have pulled that off, we should have just gone home. It is a base hit anyway for Stephen Wren. Connor Kopak the batter. This is outside, ball one. So Wren with all of that speed is back on. He's two for three. Baker holds him close. Middle infield on their toes. Pinching towards second. Gorman in a bit at third. And the 1-0 is outside. Ball two to Kopak. Dayton is out of Kent State University. 25th rounder in 2017 by St. Louis. Two and 0 That finds the inside edge. Good fastball for strike one. Tenth appearance for Dayton this year. He's 0-1. The ERA 19.29. 14 innings, 30 hits, 31 runs, 12 walks, and 8 strikeouts. 
Looks at first base. The 2 1. In on the hands. Good fastball there. Fought right back into the screen. Evens the count at 2 and 2. Dayton had appeared in 43 games in 2019. 42 of them were in High A Palm Beach. And then made an appearance out of the Cardinal bullpen on the last day here in Springfield back in 2019 as this is skipped foul down the third base line. It'll stay two and two. But Patrick had really good numbers in high A that year. Three and two. 3.64 earned run average. Would love a ground ball right here. Two two. Taken just a little bit low. Good breaking pitch. But a better look by Kopak for the full count. Kopak has scored the lone traveler run. That came in the second inning when he worked a two-out walk. Ignited a little two-out rally for Arkansas. Fluttering this one into right field. Carrying for Burleson. It gets off his glove and will roll all the way back to the base of the wall. To third and being waved around is the lead runner, Wren. The throw home is in time. And who else but Nick Dunn with his 10th assist of the game on the throw in from right field. By a crazy play, a line drive in right field that hit off the glove of Burleson, rolled all the way back to the wall. He then dug it out of the wall. The Travelers were running wild. Wren tried to score from first. The cutoff by Dunn was on the money, and Raposo tagged him out at the plate. It stays 9-1, to one, and the first pitch gets a check swing by David Masters, strike one. What a way to get his 10th assist of the game for Dunn. The outfield assist as well for Burleson. Another check swing, and he goes around again. Masters down nothing in two. So Kopak will not get a hit on that ball. It's a two-base E9. He got to third on the throw home. And that assist goes 9-4-2. Oh, 2 that's fought foul over by the Traveler top step. This would have been a heck of a night for Missouri Lottery baseball bingo. There's not a whole lot we haven't seen so far. Dayton will try again. Here's the 0-2. Down and in. Tempting breaking ball. Good job by Masters to lay off. So in all of that, Kopak got around to third. He's the only man out there. One down in the seventh. Cardinals ahead by eight. Dayton points it down and in. Two and two. And the pitch. Down and away for ball number three. Masters one for two, a single and a strikeout. Batting 167 on the campaign. 3-2. Grounded sharply to short. Off the try of Perez. That was going to be a tough play. It'll be an RBI single with everybody safe on it. Masters with his fifth RBI. Kopak in from third on a hard hit low liner that Delvin had to try to make a spinning Sliding stop on backhanded deep in the hole. I'm not sure he gets it out even if he's able to stop it cleanly. Kopak was racing in on contact. Masters can move. Would have been a tough one. So an RPI base hit correctly ruled. And here's a first pitch curve strike to David Schaefer. Travs do get their second run. Cardinals lead this game 9 to 2. And the pitch, swing and a miss by Schaefer, nothing in two. We've had a wild one here at Hammonds Field tonight. Cards ahead by seven.
Baker holds on to Masters at first. This pitch down and in by the toes. Schaefer skipping back out of the way of it, more by the shins than the toes. Either way, got the puppies moving. And the count of one ball, two strikes. Dayton, a fast worker, fires again. This in on the hands, bounce to third. Gorman charges, and it's foul. Played it just on the foul side of the line. Total stay one and two for the batter Schaefer. Back to first base Masters. This has been far and away the most productive part of the lineup tonight for Arkansas. The lower third of their order. Seven, eight, and nine in the lineup. Kopak Masters and Schaefer authored that two out rally in the second, which had momentarily tied the game at one apiece at that point. Pitch from Dayton, a fluttering liner to second, caught by Dunn. Scurrying back to first base, Masters. So another put out for Dunn. Two down. Well, Palante did a great job tonight pitching to contact, and that's in part what allowed Nick Dunn to get up to nine assists while Palante was out there. He has gotten that tenth on the outfield assist that went through him at home plate in this inning as this is down and away for ball one. Palante wound up with six innings, one run, five hits, two walks, three strikeouts. Ripping a miss by Morgan here, one ball, one strike. 86 pitches, 55 strikes for Andre Palante tonight. Masters edging away from first base. Dayton gives him a glare. And the 1-1. One -one. Down and outside to Morgan for ball two. Morgan is 0 for 3 today after a two-homer game yesterday with six RBIs. Still having an outstanding series here at Hammonds Field. The veteran is 8 out of 21. It's about a 350 batting average with two homers, eight runs batted in, a double, and two runs scored as he takes ball three outside here. Three and one the count for him. In the seventh, Cardinals up by seven. Three and one. A swing and a tipper foul back into the screen. Full count for Morgan. Well, we close things out in the homestand tomorrow, 6.05 start time. We told you about happy half hour, of course, going on, as it does every day. When gates open at 5.05 tomorrow, that'll start the happy half hour with drink specials for fans 21 and up on all adult beverages for the first 30 minutes. Three and two, runner goes, and it's just outside, ball four. So that will put Morgan on. Masters down to second on the walk. Into the batter's box comes Bobby Honeyman. Tomorrow also Highland Dairy Ice Cream Sunday. We'll have free ice cream for kids before the game. And kids are on the bases after the ball game. Darwin Morero out to the mound. It is the first Burrow Behavioral Health mound visit on the Cardinals side. And if you need to chat, Burrow Behavioral Health is the behavioral health expert providing care when and where you need it. Visit BurrowCenter.com today. After tomorrow, the Cardinals embark on a two-week road trip. We'll be in Wichita from June 15th through the 20th. Off days on the Mondays, as is the case every week this year. And then Tulsa from June 22nd through the 27th, then the off day on the 28th. So after tomorrow evening, won't have another chance to watch these Cardinals here at Hammonds Field until June 29th. First pitch to Bobby Honeyman on the inside edge. Good curve ball by Patrick Dayton for the strike. Northwest Arkansas comes to town on June 29th and will be here through July 4th. Part of a long homestand again. June 29th through July 11th. Cardinal baseball every day except those Mondays. And you can now check out the promotions. 
SpringfieldCardinals.com. Rip and a miss here by Honeyman. Nothing in two. A lot of fun coming up. We have giveaways scheduled every single Thursday, Friday, and Saturday home game from this point on. 0-2 inside, one ball, two strikes. So the next giveaway on tap here, July 2nd, or excuse me, July 1st, the Thursday ball game when the Cardinals are back in town after tomorrow. St. Louis Cardinals 1942 World Champions Budweiser Beer Steins for 2,000 fans, 21 and up. This one down and outside, 2-2. Two and two. Friday, July 2nd, Highland Dairy Red Wiffle Ball Bat Sets for 2,000 fans. We're going to have kids' fireworks that night as well. We'll have Freedom Week fireworks every night, July 1st through the 4th. Swing and a miss here. Dayton gets him on that curve. And only one run in the 7th. So Dayton wraps up that 7th inning with the Cardinals ahead 9-2. to two. Time to stretch here on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Cardinals coming back to bat here in the bottom of the seventh inning. It is nine to two Springfield and a couple of changes on the Arkansas side. Mr. Carwash pitching change number 44 Jake Haber is in. Also. Joe Rizzo is playing at first base. So he is newly into the game. Keegan McGovern who had been at first will slide on out there to right field. David Schaefer who was in right field will come on in and catch from here on out which is his natural position. And Brian O'Keefe is out of the ballgame. So a couple of changes in the lineup. Rizzo will take O'Keefe's spot. So I think we've got them all. The umpires making sure their lineup card makes sense as well. So Honeyman stays at third base. At short, Masters remains. Second baseman still Josh Morgan. New first baseman Joe Rizzo checking in. He will bat fourth. Behind the plate, David Schaefer comes in from right field. And the previous right fielder, Keegan McGovern, or rather the previous first baseman, Keegan McGovern, goes out to play right field. Meanwhile, Jake Haber tosses a strike right down the pipe to Nick Raposo. Raposo, Perez, and Gorman here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Cardinals ahead 9-2. to two. Haber kicks and fires. And a breaking pitch is in at the kneecaps. Nothing and two the count. Haber number 44 spells his name H-A-B-E-R-E-R. -E -E -R, but pronounced Haber. 6'2", 225 out of Highland, Illinois. 0-2. Good slider for a strikeout. Swing and a miss by Raposo. So Haber off to a good start. Strikes out his first man. And we go back to the top of the lineup. Delvin Perez having a good day. Two for four. A solo home run into the left field bullpen. That sparked the three straight homers in that fourth inning by the Cardinals. First time since 2005 the Cardinals have accomplished that feat. He then singled in the fifth inning. So a two hit day for Delvin who takes a breaking ball down and outside. One ball and nothing. Second home run of the year for Perez up to five RBIs. He's had a good series against Arkansas. The 1-0 from Haber. Bouncer foul down the third baseline. It'll be one ball and one strike. Delvin this week has gone six out of 20 with the one home run today. Three RBIs, also a double, and he has scored five runs. 22-year-old shortstop, the number 28 prospect in the Cardinals farm system. 
former first round pick back in 2016 out of high school down in Puerto Rico. As this fastball is up and outside and the count goes his way two and one. Nolan Gorman looming on deck has already become the first Springfield Cardinal. They hit three home runs in a regular season game and he is going to be looking for number four. The pitch to Perez rip back up the middle skipping it off the pitching mound a screaming single to center field for Delvin Perez his third hit of the ball game. And here comes Nolan Gorman. So Gorman is settling in. Three for three, three home runs, four runs batted in. He worked a walk in the fifth inning. One odd, one down. Haber delivers. Down and inside for ball number one. Depending on what else is going on in the double-A central, this could be a game that sees Gorman move into the top spot or a tie for the top spot among the league's home run hitters. The 1-0. Swing and a fly ball down the left field line. It's going to go foul, though. Up onto the grass berm. The count evens one ball, one strike. Nick Prado and Bobby Witt Jr., a couple of Northwest Arkansas prospects in the Royal system. They started the day tied for first in the league with 10 home runs apiece. Gorman is up to 10. So depending on what the Naturals are doing tonight, Nolan will either be right on the cusp of being in a share of the top spot or will have caught those two naturals. One at one. This is a rocket into the Cardinal dugout. <laughs> Strength and conditioning coach Dan Vega showing off the foot speed there to get out of the way of that one. I mean everything that is coming off of this bat is crushed right now. He was already having an incredible month of June before tonight. Came in hitting 395 through the first 10 games of the month with four home runs and nine RBIs. He's already hit three home runs in this game. And the one two. Taken high for ball two. Tempting fastball by Haber. Gorman not fooled. We have had five Volt Credit Union home runs for good tonight. Three. Off the bat of Gorman with one by Perez and one by Donovan. Haber deals the 2-2. Swung on and grounded softly to second. Scooped there by Morgan. The flip to second will get the out there. Gorman is safe at first base. It's a fielder's choice, 4-6. So two down here in the inning. That'll bring up Brendan Donovan, who's having a great day as well. Hit his first double A home run, which was that third straight one back in the fourth. Drove in another RBI, his second in double A on a sack fly in the fifth. He had doubled and walked in the second, so he is two for two. The only time he's been out was on that sacrifice. One on, two away. First one to Donovan, dips down and in for ball one. Donovan, a seventh rounder in 2018 out of South Alabama, where he had helped the Jaguars win the Sun Belt Conference Tournament in 2017. He takes a strike here. Hit 438 with the championship clinching walk off base hit for the Jaguars in the conference tournament which was their first since 2005. David Freeze was on that team at South Alabama. Here's a bouncer to the right side. A tough play by Morgan. He picks it, slides, pops up, fires to first, and he gets Donovan. A circus play by Josh Morgan. 
And he's going to get a hand from the Cardinals fans at Hammonds Field. That was incredible. Take it away, a base hit from Donovan. That's practically the only way you can keep Brendan off the bases. Top of the eighth coming up. It's 9-2 Cardinals on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Patrick Dayton right back to work. The Cardinal left-hander here in the top of the eighth inning. Bins a breaking ball a little bit low to Jake Shiner. One ball and nothing for Shiner opening up the eighth inning in the right-handed side. Cardinals lead this game 9-2. Second inning out of the bullpen for Patrick Dayton, who bends a breaker in the strike zone this time. The count evens one at one. And the Ozark fence home bullpen, Edgar Escobar, gets loose. Cardinals play Shiner to pull it on the infield. Waves over the top of a 67-mile-per-hour curve by Dayton. So the count against Shiner, one ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Dayton gets Shiner. And it's a quick out to start this eighth inning. Boy, another good curveball by Patrick Dayton. So the second strikeout in a row for him if you track back to the final out in the seventh. That brings up Joe Rizzo for his first at bat tonight. He had taken over in the slew of defensive substitutions. As the first baseman, Rizzo's hitting 234, two home runs, 11 RPIs, and he watches that curve miss down and outside. Ball one. Baker right on the line at first base. The 1 0. Just missing outside. A check swing appeal, and he didn't go, says third base umpire Mike Raines. So two balls and nothing to count for Rizzo. On a wild Saturday night here at Hammonds Field, Cardinals pummeling out five home runs tonight. This one just missing down and away as well, 3-0. and oh. We've been talking about some of the upcoming fun, and again, a reminder, you can check out all of the 2021 promotional giveaways at SpringfieldCardinals.com. Here's a bouncer to first, gloved well by Baker, charging in on it, and Lucan will stomp on the bag over there. So three unassisted, the put out. Two down in the eighth inning. All of the giveaways announced tonight at first pitch tonight, celebrating our first giveaway with the Central Bank of the Ozarks White Cardinal Caps tonight. But we've got promotional giveaways coming up every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night the rest of the season. So jam-packed schedule. This pitch down and outside. Ball one for Keegan McGovern, the left-handed hitter. And again, the next homestand after tomorrow will begin on Tuesday, June 29th. Curve down and away, 2-0. Freedom Week fireworks every night, July 1st through the 4th, with giveaways in addition to the fireworks, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. 2-0. Outside and low, 3-0. And on July 4th, as well as a huge 4th of July Freedom Week fireworks show, a post-game concert by the Dirty Saints, presented by Aaron Saxon Associates. This pitch inside, it's a four-pitch walk to McGovern. That'll keep the inning going with a man at first base for Stephen Wren. So make your 4th of July plans right now. We've already made them for you, really. Click on over to SpringfieldCardinals.com slash promotions. You can check out the full listing. All the fun going on all week long. We are celebrating the 4th. July 1st through the 4th, fireworks every night, giveaways the first three nights in that time frame, and a post-game concert on the 4th. What more could you want? A little baseball mixed in as well. Jose LaHare will take the walk out to the mound. The Cardinal skipper signals down to the bullpen, so we've got a Mr. Carwash pitching change. One on, two down here in the top of the eighth inning. It is nine to two Cardinals here on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. 
Mr. Carwash pitching change here in the top of the eighth inning with Edgar Escobar taking over on the mound. The Cardinal ready out of Ciudad Habana in Cuba. Side with St. Louis as an international free agent in 2018. Number 34 in Cardinal Red on his back. Escobar 6'1. 231 pounds. He's 24 years old. This is his first season in double A ball. And he's been very good through his first 12 outings. 0 and 1 record, a 2.95 ERA. Leads the team with three saves early on this season. 21 to the third innings. Seven runs, 11 hits. Only five walks to 26 strikeouts. Some outstanding peripheral numbers as well with a, a 149 batting average against. And a 0 0.75 whip. Walks and hits per innings pitch, basically measuring how many base runners per inning you allow. And Escobar is at fewer than one. He does inherit a base runner. It's McGovern at first base. Baker is going to play off the bat. Right-handed batting Stephen Wren comes up. Wren's had a nice day tonight, two for three. A pair of singles in this game. He was thrown out trying to score on that crazy play in right field. There's a fastball right at the knees. Strike one from Edgar Escobar. Wren was at first base when Kopak hit a liner to right that Burleson had glance off his glove. It got all the way back to the wall. Burleson fired it to Dunn. This is a swing and a miss by Wren. Late on a heater. Nothing in two. Dunn then dealt a strike home, and they caught Wren trying to score on that play. One on, two down, top of the eighth. Cardinals up by seven. Escobar delivers. Runner goes, and it is down and away. They're going to let McGovern take second on indifference. So the runner now to second base. The count one and two. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Escobar gets Wren to close out the eighth inning. Firing that fastball by. It is 9-2 Cardinals. Bottom of the eighth next on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network. Cardinals pick him back up here in the bottom of the eighth inning. It is 9-2 Springfield on this Saturday night. And the Travelers have their right-hander, Jake Haber, back to uh, back out there on the mound. So Luke and Baker, Alec Burleson, and David Vinsky will bat. Haber came on for the seventh and worked around the single by Perez. The fielder's choice by Gorman got out of it with one left on. Works from the far first base side. First of the frame to Baker. Swing and a fly ball that is sent to medium deep right center. Under it from right is McGovern out there now. And the catch made for out number one. Havers, 26 years old. He went to Eastern Illinois. Tenth appearance out of the Traveler bullpen this year. He's 0 1, 7.59 ERA. 10 and two thirds innings. 13 runs, 9 earned, 12 hits, 12 walks, and 10 Ks. Alec Burleson digs in. Slightly open on that left side. Burleson drove one back to the warning track in the sixth inning. Haber starts him off with a fastball, and it's up and outside. Ball one. Burleson did single in the first inning. He's gone one out of four tonight. Two home runs in the series.
Five already in double-A ball for the 22-year-old outfielder. Big swing and a miss on a high fastball. One and one. Burleson from Denver, North Carolina. In his first year of pro ball after being drafted in the second round last year, but with no minor league baseball, his debut delayed until opening day this year. Up and outside, a fastball. It's two and one. But boy, Burleson has not missed a beat despite that pause on his debut. Opened up with 11 games in high A Peoria. As the 2 1 twists in there. Good sharp breaking pitch by Haber. 2 and 2. Burleson went 12 out of 42 in Peoria. Four home runs, 10 RBIs in 11 games. And then jumped up to double-A ball and began a, his Springfield career on a nine-game on base streak. Two and two. Fought foul over to the Cardinal dugout on the first base side. Burleson was named the Cardinals Minor League Player of the Month for May. He had 317 between the two levels, high A and double A, seven home runs, 19 RBIs in 21 ball games. Trying to get a hold of one right here. It's a 2-2 count for Burleson. Haber, the righty set up. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a good breaking ball. So a strikeout dealt by Haber, his second of the day. And there are two down in the bottom of the eighth inning. So the batter coming up, David Vinsky. Cardinals lead this game by seven. These two teams had split the first four games. So this will give the Cardinals an opportunity if they can hang on. It's certainly not done yet, but if they can hang on, it'll give them a chance for their first series win if they can then take tomorrow's finale. Got to win tonight to have anything better than a split, though. This is down and outside, ball one. Vinsky's got a base hit tonight. One out of four in total. Right-handed batting center fielder. Down and away, a fastball makes it 2-0. and oh. Well, the Cardinals' righty Palante continued his outstanding stretch tonight, making it now eight straight starts with Two runs or fewer allowed. He only gave up one run tonight. The only other qualifying starting pitcher to not allow more than two runs in any of his outings so far is Tyler Herb, the veteran righty who is going to go for the Trabs tomorrow. This fastball outside for ball three. Herb is 2-2 two and two of 1.04 ERA. Cardinals will counter with the righty Dalton Roach. The pitch here to Vinsky. He was stepping out of the batter's box and it was in there for a strike. Three and one. Dalton started Tuesday's game against Arkansas. Roach is one and three, 5.32 ERA. The reason that's not a matchup, the Trabs are rolling with a six man rotation. Cardinals with a five man. 3-1, down and outside, it's ball four. So Vinsky with a Red Wing Shoes walk will extend this eighth inning. On base for the second time at five attempts today. And that brings Aaron Antonini back into the batter's box. With that six-man rotation, the Travelers avoid ever having a series in which a starting pitcher has to face that same lineup twice in a set. That's the case, though, if you're going with a five-man rotation. Every series this year is six games, Tuesday to Sunday, with that Monday off day. First one coming for Antonini. Down and in, ball one. So essentially, Arkansas's rotation has their starting pitchers thrown on the same day every week. 
not really mapped out quite like it is in college where you know you have your Friday night starter your Saturday starter typically those are the two best pitchers on the staff as the 1 0 slides in there one and one but a little bit like that setup where tonight's starter for example Devin Sweet starts every Saturday it's just a little bit more random based on the day of the week it laid out with that first time through the rotation not quite as strategic based on opponents this pitch down and in so two and one for Antonini who's been outstanding as well tonight he's one for two a single two walks and two runs continuing to get himself on base at an extraordinary clip he's been on in 12 of his last 13 games now two and one High curve taken for ball three. Antonini set up on the left side. And the 3 1 swing and a miss. Fastball sneaking by the home run cut that time. Two more walks tonight. Antonini's up to eight walks. Now in double A. His 13th game at the level. Runner takes off. Pitch down in the dirt. It's going to go as ball four. So no steal for Vinsky. He gets to second on the walk taken by Antonini. Back-to-back -back Red Wing shoes walks. Both coming with two down in the bottom of the eighth inning. And that is going to bring up Nick Dunn. As we tell you about Red Wing shoes, heavy duty meets lightweight with Red Wing's full line of work boots, Irish setter work and hunt boots, and so much more at Red Wing shoes in Springfield, located at 1707 South Campbell. Two on, both on walks with two away. Done the batter. And the pitch right in for a strike. Nick is two for four today. With a pair of singles in this game. He also has recorded. Ten assists in the field. This one has popped up foul. Look out Matt. Right above our. <laughs> Digital media and public relations specialist Matt Turr, who's sitting about six feet to my left, he is plugged in right now on a multitude of devices, giving you the online content you crave, and he almost just got taken out by Nick Dunn's foul ball. Cat like reflexes, though. The 0 2. This is a pop fly right behind second, getting under it the second baseman Morgan, and he's got it for the final piece of a scoreless bottom of the eighth inning. Cardinals lead it nine to two. They're trying to slam the door in the ninth when we come back. Edgar Escobar back to work. Top of the ninth inning. Cardinals lead it nine to two. And are trying to slam the door here on these Arkansas Travelers with Connor Kopak, David Masters, and David Schaefer. Coming to bat. A safe, effective, and trusted. Let's tell you about Pure and Clean. It knocks germs right out of the park with a powerful cleansing solution that's non toxic, non allergenic, and scent free. Pure and Clean's mission since 2015 has been to help people live healthier lives in an increasingly contaminated world. It's the only cleanser I use, whether I'm here at home or out on the road. Founded and headquartered in the Ozarks, Pure and Clean is a local company making a global impact. So order your Pure and Clean products right now, www.pureandclean.us. Escobar with the first of the ninth. In there for a strike, a good sharp slider. Nothing at one. Kopak, the right-handed left fielder. 0 for 2 today. He has scored both of Arkansas's runs, however, in the second and the seventh. And that same angling slider dips in for strike two. 
Cardinals have led this game since the second inning. They put up one in the first on Gorman's first home run. As the 0-2 from Escobar bends a little bit down and away. My goodness, that was strike three. But it goes as ball one instead. One ball, two strikes. Escobar fires high all the way back to the screen. So it'll go to two and two. Jabs tied it in the second. It was one to one, but the Cardinals came right back in the bottom of the second and reclaimed that lead. First on a run scoring wild pitch that brought in Antonini, but then later in the inning with Gorman's second home run of the night, a two run home run. He had two home runs in the first two innings of this game. As a fastball down and away. So two and two the count here for Kopak. Then that fourth inning was the frame in which the Cardinals hit back to back to back solo home runs. Perez's first of the night, Gorman's third of the night, Donovan's first in double A. Two and two. Bouncer foul, third base side. We'll do it again. So that made it seven to one. Cardinals added two more in the fifth inning. Run scoring fielder's choice by Raposo. The sack fly by Donovan. Trav's got one back in the seventh on the base hit by Masters. It has been nine to two since. 2-2 two -two pitch. Fastball just a little bit down and in. That might have been strike four. Escobar just not quite getting the corners. Full count. Right-hander set up right beneath the birds on the bat. And the 3-2. Swing and a miss. He'll get him that way. A fastball powered by the swing of Kopak. Second strikeout for Escobar out there. Out number one here in the ninth. So the batter is David Masters. A little bit of pull side shading on the infield with Dunn angling up the middle. Outfield standard. Masters having a nice game. He's two for three with an RBI. And he takes a sharp slider for a strike. Base hits in the second and the seventh. He did not get the RBI in the second inning, but does kind of get an assist. His single moved Kopak first to second from where he then scored on the Schaefer base hit. Rips through this one though, and the count quickly nothing and two against him. Masters has that batting average up to 196 with the two hits today. Two homers, four RBIs. It's his 15th game for Arkansas this year. 0-2, oh, outside and low, that breaking ball. Former Arkansas Razor back for one year. Masters after playing his high school ball up in St. Louis for his dad at Timberlake. Timberland, I should say. The one two popped up middle of the infield. Perez and Dunn converge. It is Nick Dunn, the second baseman that squeezes it right on the edge of the grass back there. Two up, two down. Escobar trying to slam the door here against David Schaefer. Schaefer at the bottom of the lineup has also had a nice game. The seven, eight, and nine hitters really have been the primary offense for Arkansas tonight. Schaefer and RBI base hit in the second, a double in the fifth. Two out of three so far today as he skips a fastball back into the backstop foul. No balls and a strike for Schaefer. Gorman angling towards the line at third base. 
Perez guarding the hole at short. Done a few strides up the middle from second. Baker off the line at first. The 0 1. Swing and a miss on a slider. Strike two. Escobar set up the 0 2 up and in with a fastball one ball two strikes for Schaefer two down here in the ninth inning Cardinals up nine to two here's the one two. Hit hard, deep left field, down the line, twisting foul up onto the berm. We'll do it again. Why well, Schaefer gave it a ride. But nothing more than another souvenir out there. So another one-two coming from Edgar Escobar, trying to find one final strike here at Hammonds Field. Here's the pitch. Foul back into the screen again by Schaefer, fighting off 97 right at the letters. Escobar goes back to that rosin bag. Started at 88 degrees tonight, kind of a warm, muggy evening. Cardinals bats have been red hot. The one two once again swung on bounced up the middle done tried to backhand it it skipped right over him and it's out to center field safe on the play Schaefer I think that might go as a hit that took a nasty bounce on Dunn. We will see how it is ruled. Well, they're going to give Nick Dunn an error on that play. That's tough. That looked like it took a late bounce that just shot up on him. A tough break for Schaefer, too. So it keeps the game going here. Josh Morgan digs in. Open stance right side. And the first pitch bends a little bit low for ball one. One on, two down. Cardinals on the cusp of closing this one out. They're up by seven here in the ninth inning. The pitch for Morgan. Rip and a miss on a high fastball. One ball, one strike, and this crowd's going to get into it again. Morgan has been tough to handle in the batter's box all week. Cardinals have kept him 0 for 3 today. He did get on with a walk in the seventh inning. And the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss by Morgan. Strike two. Escobar set up the count one and two. The pitch. Down and outside, trying to get Morgan to go after that breaking ball. That evens the count at two and two. Now the last three outs are never easy. Arkansas rallied back on Wednesday. They were down eight to two in the ninth, and they put up five runs to pull back within one. Cardinals ended up escaping with the win. One on, two down in the ninth inning. Nine to two lead for Springfield. The 2 2 is bounced sharply up the middle and through. Base hit for Morgan. Down to second to go, Schaefer. And Josh Morgan is on with his first hit of the game to keep it alive for Arkansas. Two men aboard with two away. Bobby Honeyman will dig in. 
Cardinal catcher Nick Raposo goes out for a Pearl Behavioral Health mound visit. If you're experiencing a behavioral health crisis, don't wait. Contact Burl's 24-hour crisis line at 1-800-494-7355. Learn more at BurlCenter.com. So Honeyman digs in. He's been hitting in the two spot tonight. Cards have gotten him three times. He did work a walk to get on back in the first. Ground out and two strikeouts otherwise in his line. Two on, two down, the pitch from Escobar. Right on the outside edge, strike number one. Honeyman went two for four earlier in this series. This is just the second time we've seen him. 0 1 pitch. Pop foul back and out of play, and Escobar in front in the count and nothing in two. 26 games for Honeyman this year, and he is batting 301. He's been a good bat in this lineup. Looking to further extend this ball game while Escobar and the Cardinals try to slam it shut. Two on, two down, 0 2 count. Escobar shakes the head a couple times, settles on the signs. And here's the 0-2. A slider fought foul. Right back to the top of the screen, a good swing by Honeyman to get a piece of that breaking ball. Two, eight, and one for the Travelers. Nine, 14, and three for the Cardinals with five home runs. A regular season record setting three off the bat of Nolan Gorman tonight. Escobar in search of a final strike. Here's the 0-2. Fouled away again by Honeyman. That fastball popping up 101 on the stadium radar gun. Probably somewhere within a couple miles per hour of right. They load up on the right side against him. Perez shading up the middle. Gorman essentially playing short. Baker right on the line at first base. Escobar spins back to second. He'll look the runner there back. That's uh, Schaefer at second base. Morgan at first. Travs have battled. They have fallen in two of these first four games, and they don't stop swinging away. The 0 2. High with a fastball. It's ball number one. This game got going at 6.08 p.m. tonight. We have seen some fireworks throughout. First time since 2005, Cardinals have hit three straight home runs. That was back in the fourth. Here's the pitch. Swing and a fly ball, hit to deep left field. Donovan cutting down towards the line, and he runs it down. Brendan Donovan ends this game with a grab towards the foul line in left field. Edgar Escobar puts the final zero up there, and the Cardinals win it 9-2 on this Saturday night. Five home runs, three off the bat of Nolan Gorman. We'll tell you all about the fun after this in the postgame show on the Missouri Department of Conservation Cardinals Radio Network.